East Coast LQ Reviews today. We're doing another beer review. This is Long Trail Ale. Um, inside of the bottle it says, Long Trail Ale, named for the famed footpath. This classic amber ale features caramel malt flavors and clean complexity that me uh, meanders across the palate like a well-traveled trail. Um, it says Vermont's Original Ale. I got beer average pulled up here. So score on beer advocate is 81 for good. Styles and alt beer, also known as a German style amber ale, um, from Long Trail Brewing Co. out of Vermont, United States. Availability is year round. On the notes it says, Long Trail is a full-bodied amber ale modeled after the alt beers of Dusseldorf, Germany. Our top ferment, our top fermenting yeast and cold finishing temperatures result in a complex yet clean, full flavor. Originally introduced in November of 1989. Long Trail beer quickly became and remains the largest sound craft brew in Vermont. It's a multiple medal winner at the Great American Beer Festival. And it says 25 IBUs. It's cracked this open. Got my dual glass here. Let's go for the pour and go for the color with you guys. Go for that pour. Ooh, I like the color of it already. Try to get a little bit of a head on here. Already a little aggressive. Didn't really get much of a head. About a half a finger ahead. Nice uh, hazy, dark amber color. Really hazy, actually. Uh, let's go for the nose on this one. Oh, right up front, definitely coffee. Not coffee. Toffee. Caramel. Yeah, definitely toffee and caramel. So like sweet malts. Again, like a brown bread. It's got a nice grainy aspect to it as well, so like toasted grains. Roasted malts. Slightly uh, floral grassy aroma as well. Again, like that. I'm guessing that's from that hops. Smells pretty good, yeah, for the most part. It's just like very sweet. And then you get like those toasted grains, roasted malts. Um, I guess that brown bread. A little bit of a floral, grassy aroma. It smells pretty good. Let's go for the taste on this one. Definitely lots of caramel malt. Brown bread. Toasted greens, roasted malts. Nice little hop note on the finish. Nice little kind of like earthy hop note on the palate. Really good amount of sweetness. Actually finishes pretty crisp and clean. Doesn't finish too dry, even though you do get that earthy floral hop note on the finish. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, there's nothing really amazing about it, but it is really good in my opinion. I like the uh, the brown bread. Um, it's actually really bready. Super crisp and clean. Goes down smooth. About, I'd say light to medium mouthfeel. Medium carbonation. Cyclops scale, I'd say like two and a half. Out of five sugar cubes because it's got some good sweetness with that caramel malt. <coughs> and about two and a half <coughs> out, of, out of five hop cones because you do get a nice little hoppy uh, bitterness on the finish. Definitely nothing overwhelming. Nothing too hoppy. It's a really good beer. Um, like I said, I like the amount of sweetness. I like the good amount of like the bready note I'm getting. Price, this was like $10 for a variety pack of four different beers. Long Trail Ale, Long Trail Lager, the Angry Gnome IPA, and the Green Blaze IPA. And uh, yeah, uh, the, the Angry Gnome was pretty good. Like I said, it just there wasn't really nothing amazing about it. It was kind of all the notes you would get with a kind of beer, with a beer um, like that, but it, nothing was really popping out at you. There was nothing really amazing about the beer. It's kind of the same with this one. It has all those really good uh, flavors that you would get with an amber ale, 
Um, it's just there's nothing really mind blowing about it. It is really drinkable in my opinion. I think that, that these could go down pretty easily. Um, and I think somebody who doesn't really drink craft beer might open up to this and might actually enjoy this because it isn't as um, it isn't as full and rich as other amber ales, but it's definitely got a good amount of flavor to it. So for a rating, I'm gonna give this one a I'm gonna say eight and a half out of ten. With that being said, um, the price on that variety pack was great. I'm not really too sure what a six pack price is. Um, but if you see that variety pack for that price, I don't know if that was just some, a deal that was going on in my area, $10 for a 12-pack, um, which it probably was. Um, even if you could pick it up as a single, I would recommend trying it out yourself if you guys like amber ales. Um, if you guys like uh, maybe like uh, yingling, even though that's a lager, um, you probably enjoy this as well because it kind of has those same flavors that you would get with like a yingling. Maybe even like if you like Boston Ale by Samuel Adams or uh, maybe Fat Tire. I'm pretty sure Fat Tire is Amber Ale. If you guys like Fat Tire, you might like this as well. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Is there anything else that you guys like to see on my channel? Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos. Link here. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.